Oh my god, it feels so weird after so long. Don't need me mug in the shot, do we? No. I think we all know that we drink tea in Britain. I think that's quite obvious, isn't it? Oh, this is weird, isn't it? Feels like I'm like standing you up on a date and I've finally made it and I'm like, hi! Six months later. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god, hi guys! Hi! Oh, it's like sunny 2.0, isn't it? That's four. Nice work. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's another video with your one and only. Wow, it has been a hell of a time. I haven't uploaded a video in like well over six months now, I think. Um, this was my last one and I loved making that video. And then the world, <laughs> the world just got so much more intense, so much more busy. So, oh God, it, it swallowed me up, definitely. So I'm back. I thought I'd do another video with you guys and I've kind of... I've obviously been reflecting on this year and now we are obviously in the new year um, it's just been a really good time to purge and get rid of all the things that I don't really feel the need to have anymore um, and it's a, weird, it's a weird one really because I think with my age as well so I'm actually approaching um, oh my god approaching I'm already at it lol but I'm actually 25 and uh, that means I've had a little bit of experience with the world. Not much, but I've had a little bit. And I can say there are some things in this world that just do not need to exist. And I am here to express that opinion, basically. Um, you guys, obviously, everybody out there is completely different to each other. What you like and what I like might be completely different things. And what I dislike, you might really like. And that's absolutely fine. That's why we're on this earth. We're all here to create our own versions of ourselves and enjoy what we love in life. I thought I would get out a few things off my chest. I thought I would get a few things off my chest. That's a good way of starting 21, isn't it? I think there's too many things. I think I'd be here all day. And I'm not going to keep you too long. So uh, I've got actually a list. And I thought I would go through all of the things that I absolutely hate. And I've decided to just completely get rid of. Especially after going through the whole wearing basically joggers and t-shirts. And the occasional blouse when I have a Teams meeting for the past seven months. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get on into this video. We're gonna start off with a big one. Okay, we're gonna start with a big one. So number one, <laughs> decide, love. Number one, <laughs> I got rid of all of my heels and I, I am hearing some of you ladies in the background going, what, why? Um, because I hate them. They're uncomfortable. I can't walk in them. <laughs> and I just don't see the point in them. There are some exceptions in this. I have heels for dancing, so I actually do ballroom and Latin dancing, and then I also have my pole shoes, which are pretty hefty heels, to say the very least. I feel like I get my heel fill from them alone, uh, but all of my other heels that I just had for special occasions, I mean, little shout out, there's not many special occasions going about right now, and I don't really like heels at the best of times. I've been to weddings in flat shoes. I'll probably end up wearing Crocs on my wedding day. I just don't care. I wasn't really keen on basically wrecking my feet, which I felt like I was. Uh, these heels that I got rid of, they're completely brand new and I'm sure that somebody can get some use out of them, even if they're just for photo shoots and things. So they're definitely worth donating. They're still in the box, believe it or not. So what a waste of money that was. Um, but it was just something like a little fad at the time. I'm, I was a woman, yay, I'm a woman, I can wear heels now. Then I realized it's a terrible idea. <laughs> Number two, um, I actually got rid of 95% of my jeans. I don't own any jeans really anymore. Um, I own one pair of pink, like cotton based ones uh, with, a, with a, an elasticated waist um, because Basically, I got rid of all of my fitted jeans. I got rid of all of the ones that have no stretch. I got rid of all the ones that basically don't really fit me anymore because I've basically gained a stone in the past year. I do not have the patience with anything skinny anymore. All skinny jeans have gone into the bag or anything that's just tight on my leg, uh, apart from thermal leggings right now in the winter. And I see so many people wearing jeans and I'm really happy for you. I'm really, really happy for you, but I just don't have the patience. I literally get through the door and they're off. I just, I can't, I can't wear jeans. I find them really uncomfortable. Okay, so number three, we have plastic hangers. Last year, I actually did start this process and I decided to get rid of all of my plastic hangers. I basically gave all of my plastic hangers to charity because obviously they can be used there. And I basically bought these, um, which are kind of like a suede effect um, 
Is it, is it suede? Is it velvet? Is it velvet? I'm sorry if it's if I just said that wrong. Um, but and they have little gold uh, hooks on them, which I thought was really nice. They actually work so much better for my clothes because they're quite sturdy, surprisingly, um, which I need for my clothes because I have way too many. And apart from that, they are really, really cute. Um, they fit a lot nicer in the wardrobe as well, so I get a lot more in. So hence why I decided to make that switch. So we're on number four. Um, number four is lace undies. Um, so this also includes mesh undies. I just generally find that they're just not as comfortable as my lovely Victoria's Secret cotton pants. So uh, I have basically made the switch and gone, you know what? No. If you're like in your teens right now and you're watching this or if you're in your early 20s, um, as a 25 year old, I think that I would just say to you like all the power to you if you want to try lace pants. I mean, it's amazing like being all grown up and it's like, whoa, I can do wear anything I want now. But I wouldn't waste too much money on it. I actually went nuts in Ann Summers like in my early 20s. I definitely in the first three years, I just went nuts and I bought loads of like really expensive. Uh, I did get them in the sale to be fair because like, sale but then I realized the actual comfort level of them <laughs> and uh, I just don't have the patience for that so um, I decided that I'm gonna throw them all out and that's exactly what I've done I was kind of realizing um, and <laughs> It's funny how your brain works really because you do things without really realizing it. Um, for example, if you have a drawer full of pants, you'll probably notice that you'll put your least favorites at the back. And I know that sounds really strange, um, but think about it now. Have you put your lacy ones at the back? Are they just for special occasions? Is there really any need to have a pad for special occasions? I mean, maybe, but I just didn't really see the point. I just thought, why, be, why not be comfy all the time? Like. Comfy is the new sexy, right? Especially in 2020, so why not 2021? <laughs> I realize comfort is priority. <laughs> so uh, number five, this kind of ties in with the last one, but it's wired bras. So I have discovered bralettes over the past, you know, two, three years now. Um, I did have bralettes way before that, but I used to mix them in with my wired bras. Then I realized that wired bras are basically torch devices they hurt so much so i've literally got rid of all of my wired bras I, I literally own like two just because you know if i'm feeling it that day and i'm like yeah i want to wear a really nice bra around summers then i can but as for the most part most of my bras are either not wired or not even padded because I don't feel the need to change the look of them. I'm quite happy with them. I don't feel the need to push them up. I don't feel the need to make them look like anything that they're not. I just want them to be comfortable <laughs> and I want them to feel like they are able to breathe and that my rib cage is not being crushed. Um, if you have any really like good suggestions, I've been having like a proper look online. I just can't seem to find anything. And I really want to find some really like cute kind of bralettes. It really just comes down to comfort for me. I prefer to feel the support um, without metal in my body. Um, so <laughs> if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Am I at number six? Am I at number six now? I think I'm at number six. I think I'm at number six. Anyways, next one, plain clothes. Plain clothes, plain, plain, that was aggressive. Um, plain clothes is an interesting one because I see so much content talking about basics, talking about things that they can use within their wardrobe to uh, put with everything and everything will go together. Does not work for me. The only things I don't wear in my wardrobe are the plain things, are the basics, because they're boring and I don't want to wear boring. And I actually find that the more wacky my wardrobe is, the more things go together. Uh, because if everything's just weird, you can put weird with weird. So as an interesting concept, I decided to actually have a look at what I do wear in my wardrobe. I wear all the things that make me feel special. I wear all of the things that are really cool, really unique, things that I could combine together to make something really wacky and cool. Uh, cool in my eyes, probably not anyone else's. Literally look like a CBB's presenter, but I love it and I am living with it. I just really enjoy wearing things that really brighten up my day. And then as a result, sometimes brighten up other people's day. You know, when I walk around in a bright, pink fluffy jacket and a massive bucket hat you know i've seen so many people laugh and giggle probably laughing at me not with me but still um it brings joy and i just enjoy it i i always get comments and smiles and you know people come and talk to me because i look friendly and obviously i love i love that and i think that's just such a nice kind of atmosphere to be able to create 
through what you've got on, through what you're wearing. I think that's incredible. There's so many styles out there. You know, back when I was a teenager, I used to be quite like a scene kid. I used to like really skinny jeans and, you know, fishnet tight tops and fingerless gloves. And it made me happy at that moment in time. My style keeps changing. At the moment, I am literally like a Teletubby and I love it. <laughs> Preach it. <laughs> if you actually want some more videos like on my fashion style because you don't really get to see it obviously when uh, I'm just filming a video but obviously when I go out to places when I go out the house I do tend to wear things that are really out there and just really fun um so if you would like some style inspiration for my kind of fashion taste uh, or what my kind of fashion choices are then uh please let me know in the comments like let me know what your style is as well what's your favorite style what would you like to see me try and do uh you know is there any fashion challenges out there i just i love clothes it is the one thing i love and um, i have literally vowed this year to not buy any makeup because i don't wear it and no hair products because I have that many. I can get through what I already own. I don't need any more, but I will never vow to not buy clothes because I just think it's so much fun. Like, look at this, look at this. I got this for Christmas this year and it's a huge Snuggie. It's, a, oh my God, it's a, just a huge jumper. Do you know how much joy this brings me? I feel like I've got a warm hug all the time and that's such a lovely feeling. So buy things that make you feel like what I just did then. <laughs> okay, so this is another thing, it kind of ties in. So number seven, maybe I decided to get rid of all of my cheaper clothes. I have a lot of clothes that are really cheap. I don't spend much on my clothes at all. But what I mean by it is I actually looked through my wardrobe and decided to feel my clothes. I decided to feel what felt good, what I felt nice on my body, uh, how it fit on my body. Um, and I found that cheaper clothes tend to have more risk of that. Um, I, so, I sort of found myself repeatedly wearing the things that I'd spent a little bit more on. For example, my loungewear, I tend to wear a lot from Hollister and I've obviously spent a little bit more than that um, than on, so to speak, everything of Fiverr, which I might as well be an ambassador for. I've had so many things on everything5pounds.com that I absolutely adore. I will always promote it as a fantastic way of them recycling things so they don't go to landfill. Obviously they're selling them for a cheap price so they're giving us the opportunity to get some really cool bargains and I love everything five pounds. However, however, as the years have gone by, I have noticed that a lot of cheaper, cheaper, cheaper stuff, uh, and when I say that, I mean things that are poor quality. I've had things that have come that are ripped. I've had things that come that seems have come away already. I've had things where the, the material itself literally feels like toilet paper. Um, and I've had to send so many things back more recently um, compared to like the previous years in my previous videos. If you actually watch them, you will be amazed what I managed to find. I managed to get ASOS, Miss Selfridge. I got some Primark stuff that lasted years. Um, I got so many things. However, like I say, as years have gone on, I've noticed less stuff like that and more stuff that's from, you know, unknown brands or cheaper kind of like things that you would see maybe if you're walking around the market uh, kind of clothes. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that and you can still get an absolute bargain on some level, but you have to be so much more careful now because I've noticed that compared to the previous videos where I was basically kind of like 80% good, 20% maybe on the cuff, um, now I feel like it's very 50-50 and I feel very sad about that actually. Um, I find that a lot of the shoes I've had to get rid of because, so this kind of ties in with, with this uh, previous point, but I actually found myself getting rid of a lot of cheap shoes as well because I feel like my feet are important and I should take care of them and wear shoes that are comfortable, uh, that support my feet and that's meant that I've invested in just, just literally a couple of pairs, like I bought one pair of Ugg boots uh, and I've now been wearing them for I think three years now uh, and they literally don't look like they've been worn a day and I got them in the sale in shoe um, so I think they were originally about 140 and then they got down to 100 and then I managed to get, I think it was reduced again and I got a discount code. So I ended up paying about 60 pound for them. That's the most I've literally ever paid for a pair of boots in my entire life and it was the best investment I ever invested in. Uh, because they last so long and they literally look like new. I can walk through mud, I can walk through water, like, and walk through what I'm, imagine, like, it doesn't give me superpowers at times. 
<laughs> it doesn't give me superpowers ever. Chill out. It, like, chill out. I can like, I can walk through like a really shallow lake and I won't feel the water go through my shoes because they're such good quality and they're completely waterproof. Uh, so I actually invested in a pair of proper walking boots and they again are amazing and I can actually wear them for walks and trust them and not worry about falling over. I've used them in the snow a lot and I've just noticed that these small investments that I've made, I've really had my use out of them compared to the cheap, cheaper shoes uh, that don't support me or aren't really useful for, especially boots um, not being useful for bad weather, really didn't make sense to me. Um, and I found that I would wear them once or twice for fashion reasons, but then actually when it came to practicality, never reach for them at all. So obviously that's really not good uh, for your pocket or for the environment. So I feel like I've learned to take a step back and actually not buy things that I don't need um, and actually just get a few pairs that are really really good quality and actually are useful in my daily life. I just noticed that I really enjoy my wardrobe more actually. I still have loads of stuff, like literally loads. And I'm not saying you have to have loads of clothes either. I literally, I feel like I could take a time capsule wardrobe and have like just a little rail and just put on like five things and I could wear them with everything combined with each other because I put everything with each other. I have cap sleeve t-shirts, the long t-shirt underneath. I have mesh tops that I wear underneath jumpers or underneath a vest or, you know, um, I have long sleeve t-shirts that I've worn with cami dresses in the winter with tights. And this is why um, suitcases and things don't really suit me when it comes to putting away winter clothes in summer and vice versa, uh, because I wear things all year round. If I see a little cute summer dress, I'll just wear it with a jumper underneath it, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I just have a lot of ways of utilizing the clothes that I own um again if you want to know a little bit more about that i'm more than happy to do a quick 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 a little cheeky video on it you know why not <laughs> did ramble quite a bit didn't i yeah quite bad at that answer whoopsie <laughs> so number decide which fingers you want to use <laughs> so number eight uh we have sanitary products i know Kind of a weird one, but uh, I do have an explanation for this. So uh, about a year ago, I decided to take the plunge and I thought I would try the period pants. Uh, so I actually got these from this website here. Uh, what was it? What was it? Clean wipes? Clean wipes? Um, I actually can't remember. I think, I think it's called that, but I got them from this website anyway. And uh, I used to use pads and I used to find them really uncomfortable. I used to find that they were kind of like wearing a nappy, like who wants that in their life? Not me. So I decided to try the pants and one year later, I don't own one like plastic period based product um, because I don't need to. I just literally put on my, my pants or I put on my cotton pads um, and I have a much nicer time, let me just say. I could literally make a video on that alone if that's a gain of interest. I feel like I'm just advertise myself like I'm so sorry I'm just like one big advertisement <laughs> but yeah I thought it was a really interesting topic to be honest and kind of reviewing the pants that I do actually wear every single month now I never have any problems with them I never end up having any issues you know things that happen normally um and I just think that somebody again for teens or young young 20s whatever that means. But people in their early 20s uh, or teens are really gonna quite benefit from knowing this information if they don't already. So I actually dove into this when I was obviously about 24, um, cause I thought, you know what? I'm sick of using products, pro products, products, try again. I'm sick of using products that basically are bad for the environment. Um, that's actually all eight that I wanted to discuss today. Um, I thought it was really interesting. I just thought it was nice to kind of get some ideas out there, maybe get your brain flowing a little bit for 2021, maybe some inspiration. Um, I've just got so many different ideas for this year and I'm feeling so inspired to be able to create some really cool content. So uh, again, please let me know in the comments, please discuss things with me. And I really want to know what your thoughts are on everything that I literally mentioned. I just, I love talking. So <laughs> I think we know that, Emma. Give it a like if you enjoyed this, just to let me know. You don't have to, obviously. That'd be weird if you were forced to, but uh, it lets me know if you liked it or not. So uh, why not? It's free. And uh, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>
here I am, winging it again. <laughs> Time to go on Just Dance 2021.